Welcome to ETA Pro. The subject for today is engine electrical systems. This channel helps aircraft maintenance technicians, AMT, become familiar with the AMP requirements and to successfully obtain a FAA airframe and power plant AMP certificate. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell notification for future videos. Let's get started. A typical barrier type aircraft terminal strip is made of paper-based phenolic compound. The reason for flashing the fill in a generator is to restore residual magnetism to the fill frame. Bonding jumpers should be designed and installed in such a manner that they provide a low electrical resistance in the ground circuit. How are the rotor windings of an aircraft alternator usually excited? By a variable direct current. If a generator is malfunctioning, its voltage can be reduced to residual by actuating the generator master switch. The constant current method of charging a NICAT battery is the method most effective in maintaining self balance. Starter brushes should be replaced when they are worn down to one half of the original length. The generating system of an aircraft charges the battery by using constant voltage and varying current. One way that the automatic ignition relight systems are activated on gas turbine engine is by drop and compressor discharge pressure. What type of electrical motor is generally used with a direct cranking engine starter? Direct current series wound motor. Aircraft electrical wire is manufactured in size according to a standard known as American wire gauge. When the starter switch to the aircraft gas turbine engine starter generator is energized and the engine fails to rotate, one of the probable causes will be the starter solenoid is defective. Why is it unnecessary to flash the field of the exciter on a brushless alternator? Permanent magnets are installed in the main fill pose. A certain direct current series motor mounted within an aircraft draws more amperage during start than when it's running under a rated load. The most logical conclusion that may be drawn is the condition is normal for this type of motor. What is the amperage hour rating of a storage battery that is designed to deliver 45 amperage for two and a half hours? 112.5 amperage hour. A high surge of current is required when a DC electrical motor is first started. At the speed of the motor increases, the counter amp builds up and opposes the apply amp, thus reducing the current flow through the armature. Electrical motors are often classified according to the method of connecting the field coils and armatures. Aircraft engine starter motors are generally of which type? Series. The maximum allowable voltage drop between the generator and the bus bar is 2% of the regulator voltage. As the generator load is increased within its rated capacity, the voltage will remain constant and the amperage output will increase. What are the two types of AC motors that are used to produce relative high torque? Three-phase induction and capacitor start. When does the current flow through the coil of a solenoid operated electrical switch continually as long as the control circuit is complete. Aircraft that operates more than one generator connected to a common electrical system must be provided with a individual generator switches that can be operated from the cockpit during flight. According to electron theory of the flow of electricity, when a properly functioning DC alternator and voltage regulating system is charging, an aircraft battery, the direction of the current flow through the battery is into the negative terminal and out the positive terminal. Electrical circuit protection devices are installed primarily to protect the wiring. One, alternators are rated in volts amps, which is measure of the apparent power being produced by the generator. Two, alternator current has the advantage over direct current in that it is voltage and current can easily be stepped up or down regarding the above statements both number one and number two statements are true the stationary fail strength in a direct current generator is varied according to the low requirements when selecting an electrical switch for installation in an aircraft circuit 
utilizing a direct current motor, a derating factor should be applied. A term commonly used when two or more electrical terminals are installed on a single lug of a terminal strip is stacking. How many hours will a 140 amperage hour battery deliver 15 amperage? 9.33 hours. The resistance of the current return path through the aircraft is always considered negligible provided the structure is adequately bonded. When a 28 volt 75 amperage generator is installed on an aircraft, an electrical low analysis ground check is performed and is determined that the battery is furnishing 57 amperes to the system. With all electrical equipment operating, this indicates the load will be within the generator load limit. Which federal aviation regulation requirement prevents the use of automatic reset circuit breakers? 14 CFR Part 23. The maximum number of terminals that may be connected to any one terminal stud in an aircraft electrical system is 4. Electrical switches are rated according to the voltage and the current they can control. Why is constant speed drive used to control the speed of some aircraft engine driven generator? So that the frequency of the alternating current output will remain constant. What is the smallest terminal stud allowed for aircraft electrical power system? Number 10. If the points in a vibrator type voltage regulator sticks in the closed position while the generator is operating, what will be the probable result? Generator output voltage will increase. On and off, two position engine electrical switches should be installed so that the on position is reached by a forward or upward motion. Which of the following aircraft circuits does not contain a fuse circuit breaker? Starter circuit. One, electrical wires larger than 10 gauge use uninsulated terminals. Two, Electrical wires smaller than 10 gauge use uninsulated terminals. Regarding the above statement, only number one is true. The most effective method of regulating aircraft direct current generator output is to vary according to the low requirements, the strength of the stationary field. What type of lubricant may be used to aid in pulling electrical wires or cables through conduits? Soapstone talk. Which of the following Federal Aviation Regulations require that all aircraft using fuses as the circuit protective device carry one spare set of fuse or three spares fuses of each kind require? 14 CFR Part 91. In order to reduce the possibility of ground shortening the circuits when the connectors are separated for maintenance, the AN and MS electrical connectors should be installed with the Pin section on the ground side of the electrical circuit. Upon what does the output frequency of a AC generator depends? The speed of rotation and the number of field poles. As the flux density in the field of a DC generator increases and the current flow of the system increases, the force required to turn the generator increases. What is used to polish commutators or slip rings? A double dash zero sandpaper. How many basic types of circuit breakers are used in a power plant installation electrical system? Three. When installing an electrical switch, under which of the following conditions should the switch be derated from its nominal current rating? Direct current motor circuits. What is the frequency of most aircraft alternator current? 400 hertz. Which of the following is regulated in a generator to control its voltage output? The strength of the field. What is the purpose of a reverse current cutout relay? It opens the main generator circuit whenever the generator voltage drops below the battery voltage. Aircraft wire size is determined by using a wire gauge. Most modern aircraft use circuit breakers rather than fuses to protect their electrical circuits. Two. Federal Aviation Regulations Part 23 requires that all electrical circuits incorporate some form of circuit protective device. Regarding the above statements, only number one is true. Aircraft copper electrical wire is coated with thin, silver, or nickel in order to prevent oxidation. 
the part of a DC alternator power system that prevents reverse flow of current from the battery to the alternator is the rectifier. When installing electrical wiring parallel to the fuel line, the wiring should be above the fuel line. What device is used to convert alternator current, which has the induce into the loops of rotating amateurs of a DC generator to direct current? A commutator. Alternators or AC generators that are driven by a constant speed drive mechanism are used to re regulate the alternator to a constant hertz output. What precautions is usually taken to prevent electrolyte from freezing in a lead acid battery? Keep the battery fully charged. Arcing at the brushes and burning of the commutator of a motor may be caused by weak brush springs. The time current capacities of a circuit breaker or fuse must be below those of the associated conductor. What is the basic advantage of using AC for electrical power for a larger aircraft? AC systems operate at higher voltage than DC systems and therefore use less current and can use smaller and lighter weight wiring. Generator voltage will not build up when the fields are flashed and the solder is found in the brush cover plate. These are most commonly indications of an open amateur. What speed must an 8-pole AC generator turn to produce 400 hertz AC? 6,000 RPM. Electrical circuit protection devices are rated based on the amount of current that may be carried without overheating the wiring insulation. 2. A trip-free circuit breaker makes it impossible to manually hold the circuit closed when excessive current is flowing. Regarding the above statements, both number one and number two are true. Which federal aviation regulation specifies that each resettable circuit protective device requires a manual operation to restore service after the device has interrupted the circuit? 14 CFR Part 23. What is the maximum number of bonding jumper wires that may be attached to one terminal grounded to a flat surface? 4. I hope you found this video informative. The question for you is, what study materials are you using? Share your comments below this video.